In this screencast, we'll take a look at the file browser of your Real Geeks website. We'll show you how to sort, upload, and store your photos in the file browser so that when you're building your pages, you can easily access the various sizes our system generates to better suit your content. So let's get started. While logged in to the back end of your site administration page, you can click on the file browser link here to see where your files are housed. There are a few ways to look at the list of files here. First, you can search the title here in the search box. For example, I'm going to enter Kailua. Here, the system will show all the file types indexed with the title Kailua. Now, if I clear that search, I'm going to filter my files by date, meaning the date in which I've uploaded them. I'm going to select the past 30 days. Here, the system will show all the file types that suit that filter. Now, if I reset that to display any date, I can choose the next option, which is to filter my files by type. I'm going to select Folder. Here, the system will show all the file types that suit that filter. To delete a file, you can select the trash icon next to it like this. But let's clear that filter and upload some new images to the file browser. So to do that, I'm going to click on the button here in the upper right hand corner labeled Upload. Then I'm going to click on the Browse button to select the files that I'd like to upload. I'm going to select the Kailua and Lanikai images here, as well as the Diamond Head one, and then I'm going to click the Open button. Then. I'm going to hit the Upload button in the lower right corner of the page, which automatically uploads and saves my images. So here I can see the status of my uploads, and upon completion, they'll disappear from the window. Next, I'm going to return to the file browser by clicking this link here in my backend navigation. So here are my most recent files at the top. They automatically upload at their original size as indicated. First is my Lanikai entryway image. Below that, you can see that it is 862 pixels by 539 pixels. Now, the great thing about our system is that it automatically resizes the original image and stores a variety of sizes for you to use throughout the site. To access these sizes, you'll want to click on this icon here. Here we can see the different versions available. So, now that we understand where our images are housed, let's take a look at how to insert these images into the content of a particular page. So I'm going to return to the System Administrator page by clicking Home at the top of the navigation here. I'll select Area Pages. Then I'll find my Kailua page and click on it. So let's scroll down to the content of this page. Now, to add an image, you need to decide where you want the image to be and then click on this little mountain, which will take you to our Insert Edit Image button. This leads you to the Image Browser, where you can click the File Browser and find your image. Because this is the Kailua page, I'm going to use my new Kailua image in the content. Now, if I wanted the image to be inserted at full size, I would choose this little arrow here. But I'd like to use one of the preset sizes, so I'm going to click on this icon and see the versions available. I like the medium version. It's scaled properly for my page. So I'm going to click on the little arrow here and it'll give me a few options. Because my dimensions are set, I'll skip these options. Then I want to add a 10 pixel border around it on both horizontal and vertical axes. Now I'm going to hit OK. To align the image to the left, you want to highlight it and click on the left alignment icon. So now we have a left aligned image within our text sized the way we want it. Now I'm going to save the page. So let's take a look at the page. Here I have my Kailua area page, 
If I scroll down to the content section, you'll see my embedded image sized to the correct preset dimensions as specified in the file browser, aligned to the left with a 10 pixel border, just the way I want it. So there you have it. The file browser is a great way to organize your images. It alleviates a lot of the work by customizing the size of your content with a variety of options to choose from. Thanks for joining us in learning more about the file browser on the back end of your Real Geeks website. Please check out our docs at docs.realgeeks.com to edit and add other page styles, sidebars, navigations, upload images, widgets, videos, along with all other technical features for your Real Geeks website.